On today's episode, Rock's Car Shop, we're gonna be installing the Mouse Blocker Pro on a Ram ProMaster van. So if you're an RVer, you turn your Ram ProMaster van into one of these RVs that are riding around, you know, if you put them up, park them, mice like to get in RVs too. So this may help you if you got a ProMaster van on how I'm going to install the Mouse Blocker Pro. So here is the Mouse Blocker Pro. If you haven't seen my other videos, the Toyota 4Runner, Nissan Titan Mouse Blocker Pro, this is the Ram Pro Master Mouse Blocker Pro installation. So let's get to it. We have your typical Ram Pro Master here. I haven't had any issues with mice in this guy yet. Knock on wood, I mean, I wish it was wood, but it's metal. So I'd say Chrysler, Fiat, whatever they are, you know, Daimler, I don't know who owns them now. I say they've done a pretty good job building their vehicles and not using soybean based coated wiring. I don't know. I just ain't had no mice problems with it. But I've had mice problems with my Nissan Titan. Minor, but I've had problems. The Toyota 4Runner, terrible, terrible. Them mice have chewed everything up in that. So, when you unbox it, you end up with this little guy here. This is your Mouse Blocker Pro. It has lights on it, it has a speaker in it. It makes sound and makes lights. Uh, it comes with a uh, little short wiring harness here. It's basically real simple. It's uh, negative and positive, or rather sad and happy. So, black and red. You find it and you hook it to your battery, or if you've got a, a post terminal that's hot, anywhere it's ground, you can hook it to it has a fuse link in it. The main thing with this guy, you notice on the back, it has a mode button. You need to be able to get to that mode button. This is where you select the intensity levels, whether it's one, two, or three. Uh, so there's four functions of this button, one, two, three, and off. Uh, wherever you mount this guy, just keep in mind, you want it close enough to where you can put, you know, find a hot terminal, negative terminal. Uh, if not, you have to extend the wires. Uh, you really want to mount it to where it's going to shine off a reflective surface. Now you see Ram put, or Dodge, Chrysler, whoever, Fiat, they put this metal here so this will reflect really, really good. Now, the thing is, I've got to find a place to mount this guy. It's going to be easy access, but it'll hit as much reflective surface as possible. If not, I'll have to use locker mirrors you know back when you were in middle school you know you had a locker you decorated a locker you had mirrors or magnets most of this is metal underneath here maybe some of it's plastic you find a metal service you can put a magnet on it a mirror magnet and it'll reflect light so if you can't get to the reflective service no problem you can always buy mirrors they sell them on the jungle website they also sell them on ebay so uh i do know i have a negative post here so this this right here i know is a good ground this is a negative post for jumping. This is good ground. And this right here is a hot post right here, right here. This is for jumping your vehicle off. You put your jumper cable here and jumper cable there. Again, then again, here and there. So this is sad, negative, and this is happy, this is positive. So I've got everything I need right there. So I just need to find a place to mount this guy. And I'm thinking that maybe Somewhere right about, I don't know, maybe. I don't know, I don't know what's behind it. Could be a coal. Looks like there's hot, hot water here, so it might be my heater coal, and there's our air conditioning coal. Don't want to drill into those guys. Um, don't know a good spot. Maybe down lower, like down here, maybe. Chances of hitting something there, slamming down. But we'll set that right there for right now. Let's go look underneath the dash and see what's, what's right there. So let me take you with you. Let's go look underneath the dash. We'll make sure before we drill anything that we don't drill into something that we're going to regret. Get my good flashlight here. All right. Okay. Okay, I see the, the heater core. I don't know if you can see that back in there. I can see the heater core pretty good. See right there. And there's the lines coming in. So, 
Yeah, it'd be all right to drill right there because that's where the hump is. So yeah, we should be, we should be good to go right there. So there's that hump right there. And according to what I was looking at, should be able to hit that pretty easy. So, maybe right there, maybe. Let me go look at it again. We'll get back with you. Okay, so I guess we're going to go ahead and try to squeeze this drill back here. I guess the hole started, maybe. Maybe. Okay. There's a hole started. Now we gotta see if we can get the box on there. I don't know if I'm be better going this way or not. I doubt it. The van's a little bit harder to deal with. This thing's got four holes, but you know, two don't hold it, four don't stand a chance is my motto. So, might be better off with a nut driver. Let me get a nut driver on it. Okay, I'm back. Oh, yeah, I can get enough rubber in there, barely. Okay. Okay, this thing come out. So let's get it out of the way right now. I think it's a gutter drain. Really can't see that good back here. What's back here? Let me go fill it. If I can, I'll put one there. Okay, I think we're good to go. We can use that spot back there. Put it in here, maybe. Get that dude right there. Like that. And since I've got this out of the way, I might try to put another one back there. Three screws should hold it, maybe. If not, we're in a world of trouble. Ain't we? Like that. He did something. There it goes. Okay. All right. So it's holding it. Now. Let's see here. We've got this wire here. Might run with that hose there. Let me get some tie wraps. I have so been waiting on this for a while. You have no idea how much 
excitement I was having waiting on this guy. There's something to keep the friggin' stupid mice away. I mean, I know they had their purpose and all, but man, tearing up everything we got. I, mean, I guess you could build a, a garage or something, put your vehicles in, but even then, they get in there too. I mean, they get in houses. I don't know if anything's just 100% mouse proof anymore. Okay. That looks like a hard one to get to right there. And they got some funky nuts on this holding this thing down. Might be where the fuses are. It says fusible teller teller rear rotter or fusible teller rear rotter. I don't know. Sounded good to whoever it was. I think that might be, I don't know. It's probably an eight millimeter maybe. Let me go grab one of them and see if that'll come off it. this one yeah it said yeah That size of that bolt is, I can't see, but I think it's, what is that thing? Eight millimeter. So it is eight millimeter. Okay, so that comes right off. Well, it comes off, it don't come right off, it comes off. Like so, okay. We have some bolts here. Let me get my test. Thing first, we know that's ground, so let's see what this is here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, we got something here. Okay, let's try this again. Nothing, nothing. What about here? Oh, we got right there. So we can bring that wire in right here to this guy. Let's see if this is ground here. I don't know. Is this ground? Are you ground? Let's see. Well, okay. Why don't you want to go ground? Is my light not working? Surely it is. There it goes. Okay. Okay, so that, that don't make no sense why that's hot and that's not. Well, that's hot now. Well, that's not hot. Well, that's hot. What about you? You hot? No. You? No. What about you? No. Okay. Well, I don't know what that post is for back here. Must not be ground. Okay. Well, maybe it's not ground. I'm just trying to figure out a way without having to run the wire out here. Which I will if I have to. Get on there. I don't like that ground, do it? Okay. So that's not a good ground, but this one is. Made no sense right there you know what's going on 
what's the difference? That's just hooked to the body. This is hooked to the body. I don't understand it. Okay. That's good. All right. What about you? Yes. Okay, so that is ground back there too. All right, so we can ground it here and we can put the hot right here. So maybe it'll work. We will find out. Let's go ahead and get into it then. Which one's them 10 over here, right there? 10. Would not be 10. Well, what size would you be? Would you gonna be some kind of different size? Well, maybe it is 10, but these sockets are too short. Let me go get a long 10. Okay, so it is 10 millimeter. And this is a good ground here, supposedly. So, let's set this here for a minute. Pull this wire around like so. Okay, get that out the way like that. And ground this dude in here like this. So the plastic thing will go on easy. Okay. Yeah, just tighten that up. If that works. Now the next one. Put the hot wire on it. Right there, out the way for us. This needs to go for over here for right now. Let me get this out here. Oh. in maybe like so and it's on and it's working okay so if you'll see here it's on now. Now come back over here and we'll look at this here. Get now, get down in here where you can see. Uh, now if you pop this cover off, that stud right there is hot. This stud right here is not. This is your sad stud. This is your happy stud. I've got the wires brought through here like so. And the other wire brought through here. So now we can put the cover back on it. Double check, make sure it's tight. It is. It is. We can put the cover back on it. Uh, eight millimeter. What is this guy here? Oh. Okay. We're gonna put this cover back on it here, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Is it gonna go? I don't know. It might not. It came out pretty rough and it might go in pretty rough too. Well, what's your problem here? Why don't you want to go? Do you not like this? Is it too much for you? I don't know. Okay. We're going to have to have to come to Jesus meeting on this. I mean, this piece of plastic here. Okay. Get in there. Something. Did it go? No. Why not? There it goes. Don't move it. <laughs> She's in there. Now we'll get these nuts started back. Okay. That was a little bit harder. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it's like from right there to right there, but still. You got good reflectivity on that guy down there. Okay. Right. 
that's back that's on there good the wires are run free here i might put a tie wrap right there real quick while i got them out here just to get you know like so something like here maybe i don't know just just get it you know where it ain't falling down that's what i'm trying to say get it right there like that Yeah, yeah. narrow fuse is right here, easy to get to. You can see our fuse right there. So that's our fuse. So, ain't pretty easy to get to. Cut that tail off. Okay, now let's set this guy up. So on this side right here, over here, there's a button. And I'm gonna cycle it through until the guy turns off. Okay, so it's off. This is a four function button. Uh, intensity one, two, three, and off. So this is one, two, three. And I'm gonna leave this guy on three. Put my gutter back up here. That's so the rain water's off the, the wind screen. When the rain hits the wind screen, we'll go down the gutter, not on your motor. That's what that's for. Okay. All right, so it's done. Basically the way this guy works, uh, you give it 12 volts positive, 12 volts negative, or the negative ground, sad cable, positive cable, happy cable, whatever you wanna call it, hot and negative. The two wires land on there. You set it on the intensity you want. Uh, as long as the vehicle's battery is above 11.5 volts, it'll operate. When it gets below 11.5 volts, it'll turn itself off to save your battery. Uh, when you start the vehicle up and it sees the alternator's charging, it'll automatically turn itself off. When you stop the vehicle, it'll automatically turn itself back on. And uh, this is the finished product here. So it'll basically give you lights and sound. I'm sure you're hearing that sound now. And basically turns it into like a, a club underneath here. Got music and lights, you know. But the mice don't like clubbing, so they don't like clubbing. But if you can put a club underneath here, man, you know, get a little jiggy. They don't get jiggy. They, they're just not into that. They're into building houses, like small houses, big houses, condos, you know, mansions. That's what they're into. They ain't into all this partying. So, anyway, if you like this video, you found it informative. Uh, uh, I will come back later on after I try this a little bit and give you a follow-up video on how well this works. Uh, so far, I'm really impressed. I think it'll be a good uh, be a good benefit for your rig, especially if you're gonna park it and if you live out in rural areas. So anyway, thank you, take care. Please like, subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Till next time.